CRT stands for cathode ray tube. As name suggests, these tubes are designed to emit cathode rays. CRT is a type of discharge tube. In discharge tubes, you can fill different gases and apply voltage. Voltage is applied at electrodes. Positive terminal of battery is applied at anode and negative terminal is connected at cathode. Tube light rods at house is an example of discharge tube. In it, mercury vapor and argon, xenon, neon, or krypton gases are filled and when voltage is applied, gas heats up and emit light. Unlike tube light, amount of gas in a discharge tube can be controlled by vacuum pump. One day while experimenting by keeping very less amount of gas in the tube, a British physicist, William Crookes and his associates, observed a light ray traveling from cathode to anode. He and fellow scientists named these rays as cathode rays because they were emitted from cathode. They further experimented with different setup to understand more about these rays. When an obstacle was kept in the path of rays, a shadow is formed on the screen. By this, scientists confirmed that cathode rays are traveling in straight line. When a free-to-move pedaled wheel was kept in the path, pedal started moving. This confirmed that ray is made of particles with some weight. When electric field is applied perpendicular to the rays, rays deflected in the direction of positive terminal of source. This confirmed that these rays are made of negatively charged particles. Changing the gas in the discharge tube and material of cathode terminal did not show any difference of properties of these rays. So we can say that all matter emit cathode rays. After knowing all the properties of cathode rays, in 1897, on another British scientist John Joseph Thomson called the particles in ray as electron and said that cathode ray is nothing but electrons traveling from cathode to anode. By that time, Everyone knew that matter is made from atoms. So electrons in cathode ray must be emitted from atoms. After this, Thomson proposed structure of an atom. According to him, atom is a big positively charged sphere in which very small size negatively charged electrons are embedded. His model is similar to plum pudding and thus it is also called plum pudding model of atom.